Hello. Hello, and welcome to Tweet for Your Fume Pleasure. I'm actually doing one today. Right, today is yet another sign kit. As you may know, I'm currently at Popman W Place in order to record Behind the Scythe and today I'm going to show you a nice little new kit that he acquired from Amazon. It's a part of a horrible science series. If we zoom over to the desk, that is the kit. That is all it is. It has already been opened because someone's already had to buy everything. So all it is, it's a basically like a volcano style. It's meant to be explosive. It's to do with a Behind the Science special today. Now, if we look at the back of the box, it says science with the swishy bits left in. To do with six awesome eye popping experiment, which basically gonna blow up. So it's things like blowing up a volcano, firing a rocket, and making snot. Then we have what's in the box, and then what we don't have in the box. What we don't have in the box, we had to go and buy. Someone didn't read the back of the box. Right, as it says, not suitable for children under 36 months. I'll be amazed if they could do it. Uh, not a lot, just a safety thing, people who made it. So, instead of wasting time, let's just look at the kit. So, inside, it's very crappy packages because someone's already opened it. So, that's not the maker fault. To start off with, we have this plastic thing. Then we have... I'm gonna look ridiculous again, aren't I? I'm gonna even look like um, what's that guy? Soro or something? I'm gonna look ridiculous. In fact, for the rest of different few, I'm gonna wear them. Like that. You can actually see through them, though. Um, seems to be a bit protective, but here we go. Next thing, we have this top plastic thingy. You'll see how this all makes sense later. We have a bottle, which is used for our rocket, and this glass is now annoying me, but I'll keep to what I said. Basically, you'll see behind the side that's gonna blow and go in the air. Uh, the next we've got sand, your generic sand. You'll see how that is used later. Uh, and now we've got food dye and a little plastic container. So we, as you can see, we have green and red dye. In fact, I think it actually says it there. See, the only problem when we do these experiments is we actually have no adult here. I wouldn't class myself as an adult that much, so, you know, we had childish glass, uh, the sun's in my eyes there, but I don't care. Then next we have Slime powder. This is basically what's making our snot thing. And yeah, we're not using our nose for this, people. This will all actually make sense at the end, don't worry. We have a bike pump. In order for the rocket to be used, you need to pump it up. This is used with a normal bike pump, etc. But we're going to be using a car pump because we've got nothing else. And then we've got something to make our rocket go faster. I need to read the instructions later, but I'm assuming it's to put the rocket on so it then blasts up so it's all standing up. I don't know yet, but I'm highly guessing. Then, I'm leaving the best bit for last. We have cyber sodium hydrogen carbonate. This is basically the bit that does all the little explosive stuff. And then we've got glue. This is why children, because they're just going to eat this. And now for the grand pipe. I'm done with that now. That's starting to hurt my eyes. Now for the grand finale. Look at the box. We were disappointed with this. Look how big it made the rocket look. Look how big, sorry, it made the volcano look. Are you ready? I'm gonna tell you now, guess how big it is. If you said tinier than my hand, you're right. It's ridiculous. But basically opens up, it all pours in there and it does the explosive stuff like a volcano. So, so as you have it, that is the kit. I'm sure we're gonna just slowly zoom around now so you can have a look at the kit one more time, but oh, ignore the keyboard, we didn't prepare much time. As you can see, this is a box again for our little volcano, the little chemicals. I'm hoping that is not used for something. Glue, 
a bottle, sand, food dye, something out, something out, snot powder, glasses that I'm going to throw away later to use my own. I haven't brought any, I'm going to be using them, and this thing. Now, you will just see, after we suddenly just cut, you will see some footage of some of the experiments in place. But if you want to see it all, then what's behind the science whenever it's released, I'll pop a link in the description if it's out yet. But if not, enjoy the little bit of experiment now as we attempt to set it up. Right. So we see what the kit looks like, and I'm sorry that this place is an entire mess, but we just done behind the science with the same kit. And I thought it's a bit unfair if I don't show you what the kit actually looked like, actually in action. Now, have a quick look at the actual desk. Uh, you can see a little volcano we done earlier, just on my left. That actually worked quite well, and you'll find it behind the site. I would dump a link. We then have a little space rocket we attempt to put into orbit. It failed miserably, but it did fly. And now I'm going to do a little tiny experiment that was also in this little kit. It basically is supposed to be a fuss bomb. Now, all we need apparently is some water, a mushroom flask, some vinegar, sodium hydrogen crap, and I got a funnel because I don't like messing around with things. And we need some cooking oil, a hundred, whatever. So, I'll follow the actual guide. With behind the science, we actually just look, but basically what it's saying, the instructions is what you do. So first of all, it's asking me, pour water and vinegar into the jar. Now it's not actually telling me how much, so let's have a quick look. Right, actually it is telling me, so it was 37 milligrams of water. Now I'm using a flask, the sign for small numbers. This is what I like being a scientist about, you know what you're fucking doing. Well for a lot of science, it's actually more just guesswork actually. I'm very sorry that this seems rustic, because it actually is. So we put into our jug, just here. And now it wants uh, 25 milligrams of vinegar, which we then pour into our jar. Although I don't actually have a jar, so same again. Now, you should wash it all out properly, but we're not doing that today. So if it works, it works. If it don't, it just don't. Although I don't think any of my fans actually care, do you, Flop? Not the most supportive of fans, are you? Right, so we'll put 25 in. And that is 25 millilitres. Now all that say, what that say again? Pop into the jar and then cooking oil. Right, oh by the way, I'll let you lot know now. Let's just bring the camera a bit closer. You should see two different layers soon, so let me just make some room for you lot. As soon as I put the oil in, you'll start seeing two different layers. Um, feels like I've been doing this all day. I think I have actually, haven't I? So now we now need 100 millilitres of cooking oil and thank fuck I've got a 100 millilitres worth jar of flask. As I said, I'm very sorry if this seems really um, quick but it's because it actually is. I'm well, actually on a kind of a time limit. We've been doing behind science all day and I figured it would be best we got a chance to actually, you know, see the kit in action. So let's mix that in really good, like so. Right, now let's give it that a minute. Let's just mix that in for a second. We're going to do a quick camera cut because I'm not waiting. After a couple of minutes, you will finally see we have different layers. Um, you might be able to see it clearly, but we have the vinegar, we have the oil, and we've got the water and vinegar, okay? So all we're doing is grabbing a teaspoon of sodium hydrogen carbonate, which comes in a generic thing that we've seen earlier. So all you do is grab a teaspoon. I might put a whole bloody thing in actually. Why don't that speed it up? No. Right, what you should see if a bubble slowly go down and diffuse. I'm not sure how long this would take, so let's just find out.
you might be able to see a bit of a foam already. There we go. You can already see it's now starting to engulf through the oil and it's now going to the vinegar and water solution. In which case, you will then start seeing the little bubble starting to be formed. This is because the vinegar is dissolving it. Do you see that at the top? All that little white stuff are forming at the top. And hopefully, if it how it sounds like, it should start bubbling out of control. So we'll see in a minute. I'll just point the camera there for a few minutes and wait for battery life. That's a bit slow. So in the name of science, I'm gonna dump pretty much the whole thing in and see what happens. Well, uh, at the end of this, I hope you enjoyed Tweet for Fear and Pleasure, and let's just see what happens. And now I move. I was expecting an explosion or something. Right, with that, I hope you enjoyed Tweet for your fear and pleasure, and I hope it was worth waiting for. With that, I hope you tune in for what they're going to be out either next year or next decade. With that, I bid you farewell.